How there? My name is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal, and welcome to an eye on privacy where we discuss about privacy issues that concern you. Have you wondered uh, how those people get away with sending you advertisement and uh, spam messages to your phone and even though you complain, you just got away with it? Well, the good news is one of the perpetrators has been caught and this was a recent enforcement that caught my eye. It was a recent enforcement by the PDPC that was just enforced on 10th of March 2022. It was a case of uh, this person called Neo Yong Xiang Trading uh, that was called Yoshi Mobile. And this particular company or individual uh, breached the obligations of consent and purpose limitation. And this is what happened. And you know, this really kind of shocked me and gave me some clarity on how this was done. So let me very quickly explain to you uh, what happened in this situation. But in a nutshell, it was this person, Neil Yong Xiang, that used the personal details of his customers that bought SIM cards from him to buy additional SIM cards using their data from his collection. Now, how was it done? Because when you buy a new SIM card in Singapore or any country for that matter, the you are allowed you the the, the, card, the shop will have to collect your NRIC uh, and your, your ID rather and submit to the telco. And in Singapore, apparently, uh, individuals like you and I are allowed to have three SIM cards. So what happens is that when an individual buys one SIM card, one prepaid SIM card, he has a uh, entitlement of two more. So what this Mr. Neo did was he actually without the consent of his customers, use their data to buy two additional SIM cards. And that was exactly what happened. So he would scan the barcode of the NRIC so that they would check, he would check on their entitlement. And once he discovers that his customer has more entitlements for additional SIM cards, he would then, well, use their data, yes, use their data to purchase more SIM cards on their behalf so that he can choose to activate them. And of course, once he activates them, he can then sell it to anybody that offers him money, which he did. So he could sell it to some anonymous uh, buyer who would then use it to do scams. So this is really dangerous because, I mean, all these unsolicited uh, calls and scams can be used for bad, for bad, for bad, for bad stuff, right? Just like the OCBC thing, where uh, it was uh, somebody who used SIM cards uh, to send messages to uh, unsuspecting customers. And what's even more scary is, you know, when the number is being used, that number is registered to the original person who gave away his data. And under the Telco Act, when you register your name to own a number, if that number is used for 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 whatever bad purpose, the owner of the number might be liable. So this is really scary. And personally, I think this uh, fine is kind of a, a little. Uh, let me just look at the case and see how many SIM cards he actually sold. And I'm just reading the case now. Apparently, he has been... Uh, well, apparently, according to a case, this person made... $15,000 a year. Wow, that's quite a lot of money, right? He kind of sold each SIM card for $50. So I really wonder how many he really made. So whatever case, this is a bad case. And this guy is a, it's a bad nut. But I know, I wonder how many more people out there have done this act of using their customers' data to buy additional SIM cards and sell to these scammers. So it's really disturbing to know this. So at the end of the day, I really want to say that, you know, it's really important that we really protect our own personal data and be very vigilant on all these calls. And please, please, if you have an opportunity, please install ScamShield. Oh, I forgot to put the slide here. So go and check it out, ScamShield, S-C-A-M-S-H-I-E-L-D. It's a app that was created by GovTech. It's an app that filters away scam calls. So this is a public service announcement. I do not own ScamShield. It is made by GovTech, the Singapore government tech arm. So my name is Mark Barnabas and I really want to advocate uh, education for data protection and cyber hygiene. So I created a game called Data Heist. Feel free to connect with me if you want to find out more about Data Heist and I'll be glad to uh, give you a quick introduction. So my name is Mark Barnabas. Remember, be safe, be good and be vigilant 
and be careful of all these cameras because I'm really, really not sure how many more SIM cards are out there running around. Uh, out there, yeah. So be careful, be safe.